It is the 5th of March 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasidi and these are the stories making the headlines across the country. Starting off the bullet in the story from Katakwi District where residents in Palam sub-county in Katakwi District are due to experience famine after rats invaded their homes causing damage to their stored food. They are worried that the food remaining may not push them in the next harvest in July this year because the harvest of last year was affected by waterlogged and waterlogging sorry and drought. Isaac Asat, the elsewhere chairperson of Akolijeke village, said the little food residents harvested is being eaten up by rats. According to him, close to all Close to all the 178 families in his village alone has lost about 300 bags of food since they started uh, raising havoc early this year. The chairperson said some people fear killing the rats from their homes because Uganda Wildlife Authority will arrest them. He is now requesting government to come in the rescue of uh, to come in to rescue the locals. Samuel Peter Emriat, the resident of Palam village, said his bags of granuts have been destroyed by rats, which he has tried killing, but failed. Juliet Amongen, another resident of Angariam village, named sweet potatoes, granuts, and millet as some of the food was damaged by rats. Moving on is a story from Hoima District where thugs on Sunday raise, raided sorry, the home of Chikube woman MP Thombha Sibiagira Kahwa in Kibati, uh, Kibati to sell Busisi Division Hoima Municipality. She said nobody was injured and nothing was stolen during the 2 a.m. attack. Kakwa, who was asleep at the time of the incident, say the, un the unknown assailants first attempted to break her gate but failed. They later jumped over the perimeter wall and accessed the main house. She said they, however, failed to break in, which prompted them to smash her bedroom window before they fled following the intervention of the police. Kakwa, who said she was worried about her safety, has asked the police for more security. Kakwa, the National Resistance Movement Party MP, represented Hoima District from 2011 to 2018 when she opted to represent the newly created Chikube District, which was created, which was carved out of Hoima District. Now, Julius Alan Hakiza, the Albertine Region Police spokesperson, confirmed the incident, saying the investigations are under would have suspects arrested and charged. I am Ruthina Sajay. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let's take a break A look at what is making the headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, just go to your Play Store and download the Vision Group e-paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. I am Ruth Nasaja. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us now continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. And starting off this segment is a story from Ginger District where education officials in Ginger District have banned weekly and beginning of term BOT tests. The acting district education officer, Paul Balilaraine Muganjo, say the ban will only affect government aided schools. He said they realized that BOT and weekly tests were scaring people from going to school. However, the chairperson of the Ginger Head Teachers Association, Nathan Wagabaza, expressed his disappointment over the ban, saying the district officials do not consult them before making such a drastic decision. Away from Ginger District, it has come to Mukono District where the Uganda National Teachers Union leadership have launched a program through which they will distribute free corporate ways to all their members 
countrywide. Now, the corporate wear is an orange-branded blouse for females and shirts for male teachers, which are to be put on by UNATO members in both primary and secondary schools. While distributing the corporate wares to teachers in Mukono Central Division in Mukono Municipality on Monday, John Sally, the UNATO National Treasurer, say they aimed at making all teachers look alike despite the different statuses of their schools. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. Catch us on social media. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Rothy the Voice.